Hi, this is Lindsay, and welcome back to my channel. So we're here on my computer. I'm trying something new, and that is screen um, recording. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be playing in Adobe Photoshop Elements 2019 today. Um, if you have a version that is before that, that's totally fine. I actually think that the 2015 version uh, crashed less than this version. <laughs> Anyway, so this video is sponsored by TomChalkley.com. You have to check out his design resources. They are beautiful. There are so many of them. He has a coupon code for you guys as well, and that will be listed in the description box of this video, so you can use that to get those. In fact, I'm going to try this, but I'm going to bring up, well, no, that is not what I wanted to do. That is an estimate to fix our roof. Um... Let's see if we can do this. Tom Chalky. Okay. So you just have to see his beautiful, beautiful website. He has the all access pass and then we have a coupon available for that. These are digital use. You don't have to get the all access pass. You can purchase them individually as well. But um, He's got vintage design bundles, font bundles, brushes, and maps, and these are just a few of them. He's got reviews on the website. Um, let's see, he's got some free downloads. Let's look at all the products here, just showing you some of the things he has. Look at how gorgeous this um, sketched flowers we're going to be working with today, but He's got botanical art and scientific equipment and the sea life pack. So I would just suggest that you get some of these birds and anatomy and fruits and flowers and vintage papers. We're also using some vintage papers, um, sheet music and fonts and just beautiful, beautiful things that he has. And the quality is really good. I loved working with um, what he sent me. He gave me a complimentary all access pass. Petal brush font. How pretty would that be? The Abbey script. Look at that. We got watercolor brushes, all sorts of things. So he's, and he adds more things too. So that's wonderful. He's got latest products over here. So the ultimate vintage design collection here which if you just wanted to purchase that, it's on sale. This is repurposed from a private collection of century-owned books. So this is not stuff that you're going to just see all over the internet. Some of it might be, but he's sourced, restored, and repurposed these from a private collection. It's worth an excess of $2,500, and it is only $49. You have an extended commercial license, software-friendly, and you have money back within 30 days of your purchase if you're not 100% satisfied. So you really can't go wrong. And here's what's included. 430 plus botanical illustrations. We have wildlife, miscellaneous, sketched floral textures and backgrounds. All of these things. And then, of course, I have a coupon code for you that will bring that price down even more. But if you get the all access um, pass, you're going to get this and more as well. So I'll let you go to tomchalky.com and just look around and see what um, yeah, what you think about it. But let's play with some of this today. They're just so beautiful. I just want to sit here and scroll and look at it forever. But let's, let's play with some of it. So what we're going to do, I'm really, really excited because I'm going to do this as basic... Um, if you have Photoshop but you don't really know how to create in it, this is super easy, basic stuff. So if you already know Photoshop inside and out, you'll be really bored by this video because I'm going to take my time to explain the simple things. Um, so once you open up the editor, you have three choices, quick, guided, and expert up here at the top. Um, I'm on expert. Not because I'm an expert, but because dealing with these ones I find more cumbersome than just going into the expert. So the first thing that we need, we're gonna be creating some journal pages. And we're gonna we only use some paper, some sketched florals, and a font. And it's very similar to my Sketches of Truth paper pack that I have in my shop. And the digital is available on my Facebook group for free. But we're gonna, I'm just gonna show you kind of how I made them. We're not making the exact same thing, but it's the same style. Super easy. 
So first we need the page. So we're going to go up here to File, New, Blank File. This is going to open up, and it already knows what I want because I'm always using this, but um, I have this in inches right here, and the width is 11 inches, and the height is 8.5 inches, so that will print perfectly on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. The resolution, I have it 300 pixels. That means that it's going to print out really well. If I would lower this, it's going to be pixelated and grainy when I print. So. And it's telling me the image size is going to be 24 um, megabytes, which I can save that to um, a lower quality later on, too. All right, so we say, okay, here's a page. So, you know, just think of it as a journal page. It's going to be folded in half down the middle. So what I like to do is drag this. You see the ruler over here? You can grab the edge of it and pull it and put it at five and a half. You can see the um, ruler along the top as well and you get this bright blue line down the middle. This will not print or show up in any of the saved files. It only shows up in Photoshop. That helps me know, you know, when I'm folding the page in half to put it in a signature, how do I want things placed on each side? Um, okay, so now we are going to say open and we wanna get a background. And on my desktop, I have a folder that says Tom Chalky. And I'm going to click on that, and I have three folders. I have the floral sketches, bouncy castle, which is the font we're going to be using, and then the vintage paper pack one. So I'm going to open up vintage paper pack one, and this has 35 different old papers. I can't go wrong. I could choose whatever I wanted. Um, I'm going to grab old paper number 35. Actually, there's 37 of them, but I'm going to grab 35 just because. And I'm going to open that, and then I can look at it better. I like the age spots. I think it's beautiful. Yeah, it works for me. I'm going to stick with it. So I'm going to rotate this image so it is landscape instead of vertical. I'm going to say go up to the top, image, rotate, and then it doesn't matter if I say 90 degrees left or right. It just flips it. Okay. Down here at the bottom, if I click on photo bin, I can see everything I have open. So here's my blank canvas, the first one here at the bottom, and then I have my old paper. So I want to go back to my blank canvas, and I'm going to drag the old paper onto my blank canvas. And then I'm just going to drag it and just kind of, well, at the edges, I can drag and make it bigger so it covers the whole paper. And then I could move it around to the age spots or it, you know, wherever I want them if I'm going to be that picky, which I um, decide not to be. I click the green check mark, which says OK. Over here on the right, I have my layers open. And if this is not open for you, you can go to Windows and then Layers. See how I have the check mark by layers? Um, if I click that, it turns it off and you don't see it. So Window, Layers. So the, I have my background, and on top of my background is the old paper. Now we're going to add some botanical sketches. So we're going to go back to open, and I'm going to go back to Tom Chalky and 20 floral sketches. There's arrangements where he, oh, I got a little buddy here. Hey, buddy. I don't have any muffins. So I have arrangements. I, I don't really know how to pause this at this point without messing up. So I'm going to grab this rose number nine, open, and it's just a PNG, which means it has this transparent background. There's no background to it, just the sketches. And then I'm going to drag it onto the old paper. See how pretty that is? And then I can make it whatever size I want and I can flip it any direction I want. Hold on, my buddy a snack. Oh, Dad, I'm in my it. tummy. In your tummy, here you go. So you can flip it any direction you want. And this is just a really pretty light sketch of this rose. If I want it darker, like I did in the sketches of nature, I'm going to duplicate it, which means I'm going to put one on um, another image right on top of it to make it darker. So over here in my layers where it says rose 9, I'm going to right click and say duplicate layer and OK. And it just makes it a little darker. 
so you could do that if you wanted to and if I decided I didn't like that I can come here to the to the copy grab it and drag it to the little trash can and then it lightens it again so I'm gonna go for the lighter one this time just because I want to and then over here okay so maybe I want a different flower let's grab this rose rose number one and then go to photo bin back to my main page drag the rose in and then I can make it whatever size I want and I can rotate it any direction I want stick it wherever I want there's no right or wrong just can make it little if I want just a little rose in the corner I could do that doesn't matter and then I'm just gonna add a final touch and that is a little bit of text so I've already installed the font and this isn't about installing fonts so if you don't know how to install a font you can google that but since I've already installed it I'm gonna click my text tool and then it was called bouncy castle so I'm gonna type in bouncy castle the color is black I'm gonna choose I want to write something up here or maybe down here and I'm gonna write sweet rose oh and it's not showing up because it is underneath the paper right now if you look on the layers so I'm gonna just grab that and move it up so it shows and it, this is a really pretty font here we go we have sweet rose and then um, if I wanted to say something up here I could just go back to my text click here and maybe write um, memories it's not showing up so we just drag it up you can just play around with however you want to place it so super simple obviously the more you know about Photoshop, the more you can add more layers and do filters and all blending and all that kind of stuff. But I just wanted to show you something as easy as one, two, three. You can get it done in a few minutes, make something beautiful, print it out, fold it in half, and place it in your journal. So please, please, please check out the website. Um, the link is below as well as the coupon code. Thank you for watching this video. If you make something on Photoshop similar to this, I would love to see it. You can go over to my Facebook group, Nevermore Creations, Junk Journals, and Friends, and share it over there. Love to see it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video.